back once again and uh, another question that always uh, uh, that has been dazzling a lot of people is it uh, are you allowed to keep a copy of your contract yes according to the law you are allowed to keep a copy of your original contract reason being for very many circumstances or very many uh instances that may happen and you definitely the only way you need to do is only you need to refer to your contract that's why according to the labor law everyone has to keep a copy of the contract with you and if your employer does not allow you to have a copy of that contract then that means is violating what you call the laws the labor laws which entices the employee to have a copy of his contract what does it mean most of the times people have taken it so lightly that to him it may concern okay i asked my employer i asked my employer to give me a copy of contract he refused yes you ask your employer to give you a copy of the contract he refused you ask him verbally do you have evidence yes i'll give you a treat guys I'm one person who was a little bit very stubborn. I told you, I kept the receipts of my payment for the last years I worked with my former company. From the day I joined until the day I left the company. I had all the receipts of my payment. Every time I'll get a, a tap message for me, for my salary, I'll photocopy, I'll just screenshot that receipt copy, then print it out. It was a charge of only one real. I'll print it out. Meaning that every receipt that had a pending amount of money that was not paid to me full as I agreed, even if it was 50 real, even if it was 10 real, I would have a copy of that receipt. So I piled all that money that was missing. And I would write. I'm one person who likes writing. I always want evidence with the writing. Evidence with the writing, I did that. And I made sure that every time I would write, I'll carbonate my supervisor. I'll carbonate a copy to my operation manager. I'll give a copy to the human resource. What does it mean to carbonate? Or what does it mean to CC a copy to any of those people I'm mentioned about? Is to make, to make them sure, be alert that I've given them a copy. He has a copy. The human resource, they have a copy. No one in between will say, I did not see receive a copy from next. That was the only trick that I would use in one way. And it helps me to survive in any way. So what happens with the contract? That you have to keep a copy for yourself. It is according to the law. You have to keep a copy for yourself. And make sure that copy should be the same copy with the ministry. Copy. Downloaded on this website. However, if you need to launch a complaint against your employer regarding your contract or without you not availing to you with your contract, you can't. You can just go to just the department, the labor department, which concerns you with what you call relations. It's called labor relations departments. Yes, you have a right to complain and you have a right to your contract. Otherwise, if so much time you don't demand that copy of the contract, to so many cases, to so many instances, you may find that you will fall into trouble and you don't have anything that is going to bail you out. You don't have enough evidence to support you to bail you out. Yes, being in this country, we don't need to know the law. And we don't need to, to fight so hard that we need to flex this and flex this. It's just the, the small lip lip of yourself that you only need to use to see that you can be able to get whatever you have to get as agreed upon. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much, Oris. And thank you so much for supporting me. Remember, it's from the next creation, giving you all this important.